This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe, and let's get right into the news. So, it's almost th- this is a typical um, story of the music industry where your enemies who and en- people that were once enemies align together when they have a common enemy. Luch, Luke Cannon, where the hell his name is, okay? Uh, didn't even really know Eric Holder, barely knew Nipsey, okay? And I'm going to tell you something. There was no fight between Eric Holder. I conf- I called some people today. There was no fight between Eric Holder and Nipsey. Okay, that never happened. Um, this guy's a liar. His story's horrible. It doesn't even line up. Uh, Brick Baby was on there talking today with Adam, and they were all the stories about, like, Luke Cannon said he pressed Meek Mill, um, surrounded the club he was at with his people, and... You know, demanded 50k from Rick Ross. He was going to take him out, and Rick Ross dropped the bag. It would be cheaper for Rick Ross to drop 10k and have you guys taken out outside of the club than than the other thing. Okay, like, bro, stop. Um, and he's talking about he smash Shaquille O'Neal's wife when she they were together and all this stuff. It's like stop, you know. And the whole Nipsey Big U thing, putting that on Big U was just disgusting. Big U and and Nip were friends before uh, he passed. Okay, they they had come back together a few years prior, and they were cool. This is all after they had the problem in 2011. That lasted a little bit of time, and then they were cool again. Okay, it was just some dis. You know, the, the, Nip was signed to him. You know, and and. You know, it's hard to let go, you know, and it's hard to let Nip just do his thing. And it was it was a thing, but it's over. Big U's talked about it. WAC 100 has a huge problem with Big U and wants to take him down. He, now, Big U, uh, WAC 100, I like I, I um, like I said, he's smart, very smart, and he knows how to work the Internet. I don't have a personal problem with him. I just think that he's going way too far for the clout moves, you know? Um, the thing he's doing with um, talking about Big U's an FBI agent or undercover agent, and he has a BlackBerry, and, you know, he's working with the cops, and, you know, he did this murder and that, and he did this and that. It sound, it's snitchy itself. And he gets the backing from his clubhouse guys. And, yeah, it brings some attention, but is it worth it? Maybe it is. I don't know, you know, but let's listen to a little bit of what he's talking about that situation. You know, you're running this play up, my nigga. You're going to release it on this reality show. Yeah, you know? I shot him, you know? Yeah, you know, it's the school, nigga. Talk to him. No, I said that on that on my live. I was like, yo, we don't got shit to do with no whack. Say something right now. He knows. That nigga, let, tell that nigga go say something right now. He knows. Nigga, you didn't settle my couch, boy. With your head down. You know I know. He's talking about Big U. Say something. Say something. I know you. This image you got with all these niggas. I didn't saw you. I don't know what to do. What? Brody. You the you the brains. You the you the shot, <laughs> nigga. Say something. Now that's something people say when they want something from somebody. They give you a lot of credit and inflate your ego. And um, Big U, maybe you needed some help from Wack One Hundred at one point. And you know, Wack One Hundred probably had a problem with Big U. Big U was known as one of the guys to go to in in uh, California for the longest. Nobody really knew who Wack One Hundred was until like. He really started stepping out around like 2014, I'd say, 15, and really known in 2016 with the game and the, the whole game situation with Meek Mill. Like, you know, that's when he really stepped out. And then obviously it escalated over the years. And there's nothing wrong with it. He evolved, okay? I mean, there is something wrong with it, but it is what it is. You know, it's like, it's just the, it's not just him. Everybody does it. Everybody, people that were gangsters, the usual thing is to not talk too much, but all of them do it now. You know, Brick Baby, a bunch of people. Anyways, you know, they're putting these accusations on Big U. 
It's horrible. Let's listen to more of this. But no, uh, whack. I said that though. Like this shit don't got nothing to do with whack. Like that's that's his people. <laughs> What's up with old nigga? Huh? Yeah, Mario Puzo. <laughs> Man, listen, bro. Hey, look, look. I didn't say nothing. I let niggas run their plays and they do their love lives and they love clown this shit. And I think they think because I don't respond immediately, I'm not going to respond. I just wait. I wait and I wait and I start to go to work and I start to, you know, a tree just don't become a tree. You got to plant a tree. Girl, 600 been moving. This shit, this shit. Boom, and I'm saving the best for last. The snitch paperwork on your boy, Eddie Boy, the one you made through 18 years, the one you told on about an alias, but we just pulled a CII, AKA report that shows you Gene Henley, 11967, and all your AKAs, along with the paperwork, you, Eugene Henley, told on me under this AKA, and I did 18 years. That's all good. Y'all fuck with me, because I'm going to try it. And when I try it, they just pull from you. Time to hurt them pockets, boy. Fuck hey, you. Hey, tell them about this contract you just lost, hey. big you. Tell them. Bro, this is like, why does why does he have such a problem with <laughs> big you? It's weird. I need to know. Someone has to ask him. Why do you have this big problem with big you? Because I mean, it's obsessive. Big U's having a lot. I mean, I'm saying Wack 100's having a lot of success, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know. And Luke Cannon and you were beefing before, and now he's your friend. Bro. <sighs> At least out of 22 did another thing talking about it with Brick Baby, and they they knocked down a lot of the stories as, as you know fairy tales. I don't know, man. You know. Big U knows how to keep things going. <laughs> I can only laugh at it because I know he is just, he just doesn't care, bro. You know, he's just doing what he got to do. He kept looking at the camera like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got him talking, doing this. It's, it's, it's clever. It's clever. Okay. It is what it is, you know. Um, it's dangerous. Because something bad can happen to Big U. I don't know. You know, maybe something real sinister happened behind the scenes that we don't know about. And because that's the only thing I can think of. Like, this is like real hatred. He doesn't ever give Big U any props, really. It's really just like downplaying him as of like a couple years ago. It's got Luke Cannon, though. He buys followers. It's, it's, it's pathetic, bro. I'll be honest. I think I think Wack 100 doing a play with him to like try to do a reality show and all this stuff because he got the girl and I, you know it is what it is. Anyways, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. And I'll check you on the next one, man. <laughs> Peace.